Hello everybody! So we are in October and yeah, chickens. Oh man, I regret buying this chicken coop, but anywho. Um, <laughs> I bought this the last episode. Uh, I thought it was cheap and it holds 500 chickens. Uh, the biggest problem is that it only holds 1000 liter with food. food. Um, so yeah, that, this is gonna, uh, you know, go into my morning chores, uh, routines. Uh, I need to feed the chickens with a thousand liter. Uh, what I could also do uh, is, of course, uh, now, now I have a lot of barley. Uh, you know what I wish we could have uh, is, um, is there like an empty pallet? Uh, we had that on FS19 from was it TD mod passion, you know, and then I can just uh, fill up uh, an empty pallet and put the pallet here. I know, I know, I could buy, uh, you know, um, chicken pallets, pallets with chicken food. Oh yeah, that's another thing I forgot to to show, is my dairy. Uh, my dairy has been producing pretty well actually uh, there's a little bit of a glitch well not a glitch but um, a misalignment so to speak and <laughs> as you see here <laughs> this is the pallet spawn point uh, for my butter and I haven't done anything with it but it seems to be a little bit off it doesn't matter to me um, but now we got there's an 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6,000 liter with butter already, and I've checked the price. Um, so in October, the price for butter is actually pretty good. So I think I'm gonna sell it. And as I said in the rules and regulations for myself, I'm not allowed to have any autolog trailers for pallets or bales. Wow, there are gates and alleys all over the place, sir. Um, do, 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 what did I say? Uh, I'm just thinking, just sell them at my own own farm. Yeah, I'm gonna make maybe thirty bucks more, but uh, I'm probably gonna just gonna sell it here at my own uh, farm shop. Yeah, we're gonna do that. Um, what else? What else? Yeah, so I have done a little bit uh, work outside the camera. Not that much, but um, last episode uh, well ended with old ginger guy. Oh, these guys are maneuverable. The old ginger guy, he was um, baling some uh, straw. So I've collected more or less all the bales this morning. There we go. And this bucket here, this bucket belongs to another telehandler because there are two telehandlers there on this map I totally forgot about uh, the other telehandler uh, the TCB uh, was stationed over at the beef cattles the beef cattles so I brought that over and yeah to <laughs> turn away if you uh, if you have OCD <laughs> turn away now so what I, <laughs> I thought maybe this would be a great alley um, area to store my straw bales but yeah it started out pretty bad and first I tried to get four you know beside of each other that didn't work so then I had to stick to three three and three three and two and yeah it's not nice but uh, <laughs> at least they are there um, I filled up uh, the new uh, cattle shed, no not cattle shed, yeah cattle shed, uh, with TMR now, so if we jump into here, and yeah, the new cattle shed, it's full more or less with TMR now, why isn't it full? Ah, that's because I have 4000 liter with hay in it, so now I'm not able to get up to uh, 60,000 liter of TMR, but that, that's no worry, no worries. 
so now I'm missing straw. So, let's see. Let's jump into this guy here. And yes, I, I've been stuck a couple of times uh, into the wall, sir. Oh, he's... Oh! <laughs> uh, so, yeah, uh, let's, uh, let's do, let me just show you how I got stuck. You know, when you are really close to a wall like so, and you get stuck. This guy here, if I can find the right menu... Oh, I'm missing the side panel. Help window on and off. This one here has crab steering. See if I go not crab steering left, but crab steering right. It's so much easier to get out of the wall. <laughs> Which, uh, you know, I made a video on it. And I think that's the intention of crab steering. You know, working in tight spaces. So let's see, where's my... There we go, that's the uh, straw bale. Shredder, yeah, that's the one. I hope, yeah, this should, yeah, yeah, we've done straw already. All right. So this takes twelve thousand liter. I can use this guy, can't I? Yeah, let's do that. Um, yeah, so there are still a couple of bales left on the field, which we need to pick up by hand, more or less. <laughs> and we might do some field work today also, but my main... Oh, whoa, whoa, that's some bad turning. Is it the JCB or the trailer? Oh, wow. Now that's bad. Seems like it's stuck on the back here. Is it because of my steering option? Front wheel steering, how about that? Does that make any difference? No. Oh wow. Okay, that's no good. There we go, start up. Oh, I got this one here. Um, yeah, so, um, do, do, do. the new cattle shed here holds, uh, I think it is 120, but I'm not gonna fill everything in here, and uh, that's because, you know, in case these guys reproduce themselves, you know, we're leasing a bull from the neighbor farm, uh, I want to have some space for some newborns, so I think um yeah we we're, we're not going to fill this up we also going to we have some room in here so i'm going to put maybe a load of 14 inside here while the rest in the new one so here you see the food trigger is on the left side so now i need to change the tip side left like so Yeah, today the cows are getting in. Now ah, we got food, we got straw. And I can start to produce our own slurry. All is good, all is good. I was looking at contracts also, but... Yeah, we're only getting a um, small harvesting contract. No, you know, baling contracts. And you know what I've been thinking about? Uh, we have a lot of land area, a lot of field, a lot of um, grass fields. So I'm just thinking loudly now and I might do it, not today, but maybe in the future. I might sell one of these fields here. Uh, first of all, I, I have no, uh, you know, it, it's too much. My equipment and I'm only me with some workers but that there's so much to cover there's so many grass fields to uh, to you know get your hands on uh, 
So I might, do, 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 do. I just have to see through the first winter how much food they're going to eat. But I'm thinking maybe feel 18 here or feel 6 or even this big one here, 400,000. I know you can't merge these these two together because they are there's a fence in between. So maybe 280. Yeah, so we're looking about 500,000 for these two. And then I can concentrate on the big guy here. And these guys and these guys and also out there is an area uh, with grass. Well, it, it's like uh, it's not the field right now. The one straight in front of us. It's not an open cow pasture, I think, because I don't see any triggers on it. But but this uh, this area here could be a great area to mow up and. And da, 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 plow it up and then uh, reseed it with more grass. Uh, when it comes to the map itself, uh, I've heard some rumors that uh, Mr. FS Landscaping, the map maker, already has sent in the map for um, update to Giants. And uh, I don't think it's going to need uh, an update, so to speak. So that's good. That's good. Well, not an update. It's not going to need a new save game. <laughs> there we go. We are blowing some straw. Some nice bedding. How are we looking? How much do they need? <gasps> new cattle shed straw. Uh, okay, not too shabby. All right, couple of more loads, and then I'm gonna put some straw into these guys, and then we can start to uh, move some cows in for the winter. Yeah, I'm gonna fill them up, and oh, oh, oh. I'm gonna grab myself some more. Oh, I need to pick up the other bales. Uh, let's see, uh, let's fly over here with the drone. Grass field is uh, growing nicely. Yeah, so I think I got like one, two, three, four. Four bales left. Yeah, that's about it. And I think I'm gonna regrow uh, barley. Uh, main thing, main reason for that is. Um, Wow, the turning radius is really bad on this one. Let's check with this one. Oh, uh, this. No! There's a collision on this one on the back. Which is really bad. Let's jump into the other guy. This guy here. The old Manitou. See, old versus new. Let's see if we got some collision on the back here. Oh no, this is way much fle more flexible. Wow, that's a big difference. Alright, alright. You know what? I don't need... I don't want to have this one. I need yours, but buddy. So that, yeah, that's a pretty strange uh, rare hitch on this one. Hmm. Alright, alright. I'm gonna leave this here for you and I'm gonna grab the bucket. And I need to mix some more TMR. You know what, JCB? I, I'm, I can use you in the... Uh, uh, because this bucket here is 3000 liter. And that's perfect for my TMR mix. Uh, two bales of hay, 9,000, and then uh, 3,000 liter in this guy here. I think it was 3,000. Ah, uh, 2,006. Oh, okay. Oh, you know what? I did download a mod. Ooh, 
let's see here. Mm, 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 mm. Telehandlers. Uh, no, telehandler. Uh, yeah, okay, it is on the. Uh, no, telehandler tools. <laughs> I downloaded uh, a silage bucket, not the CZ pack. Let's scroll past that one. Uh, oh, oh, maybe I didn't. Yeah, this one. The shovel with grapple, 3,900 liter. This would be perfect for me. You know what? I'm gonna buy it. Will it take? Yeah, it will take everything. So I can even use it uh, for feeding my chickens in the morning. Yeah, I'm gonna buy it. All right, all right. A bit mixed up there. But anyway, I'm gonna pick up the last bales, fill up the food and straw, and uh, yeah, I'll uh, I'll see you in the Land Rover, I think. I need to maybe change out this well not change out the car but the um, the vehicle uh, who's gonna pull this animal trailer it's a bit uh, back heavy for the Landini <laughs> actually on the used equipment um, there's a car today but I don't it's a really good car but um, I don't think it's you know it doesn't fit into this map so to speak. Um, so the one which is on sale is this one, the TLX 2020, which is slightly used, but yeah, this is one of my favorite uh, cars on FS22. But yeah, I'm I'm gonna keep this as my car, but I might have to uh, to <laughs> connect the tractor to this one. And I've had some discussions with the old Ginger Warrior uh, regarding his... Um, oh, I always forget I get out on the wrong side here. Uh, with Ginger, yeah. Uh, with regards to this one. And he says there's no way he's gonna sell this one. Uh, if we get the money, we can always buy ourselves uh, a new tractor. But this one is staying. So I respect that, um, no worries about that, um, but th there is one tractor that, yeah, I, I might uh, go ahead and buy it. Uh, the old tractor to Ginger there is, yeah, it's struggling a little bit, and maybe I can use it more on the farm here as a, I don't know what you call it, a service tractor. There we go, let's unfold this one, let's see if we can hit the uh, the trigger, which I always miss inside here. Uh, why am I not getting it up again now? Oh, there we go! Oh. <laughs> I know, buddy, it's a little bit heavy. Open animal dialog box. There we go. We got in the RM and then 14. Move to husbandry. Bam. Okay, okay. So it is actually real weight. Okay. Let's, um, let's fold you there, buddy. Oh, there we go. So now, let's see here now. Uh, new cattle shed, 14 plus the one there, 15, okay. And I got food and straw and yeah. Let's see how many I still have out there. So around 
50, 50, 106. And this one here can hold, what is it? 125. So I might put a uh, hundred uh, ish, a hundred and ten ish into here, and the rest in the old one. This is so, okay. I can go in there, can't I? It was not planned at all. <laughs> oh man, this is. This. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Go ahead, Landini. There we go. So I'm gonna disconnect you, buddy. And oh, that's a relief. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna use the hurly man, I think. Oh, wrong side again. Yeah, this guy. So the tractor I'm uh, I'm looking at. Um, it's either or. I don't. I don't want to uh, grow too fast. So, but this uh, tractor I've been looking at is a hundred and seventy horsepower tractor. There we go. That's more like it. And I need a high pressure washer. That's for sure. Uh, so the one I've looked at is uh, let's see, but, but is it too American? <laughs> is that a thing? Uh, I'm looking at this this beauty here with 170 horsepower. Uh, maybe some wide BKTs. And this also comes with a front loader, which is pretty handy. Um, do, 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 do. The only thing is no front PTO. But that's, you know, I, what I really like about this one, first of all, it looks great, the sound is great, but the best thing about this guy here is the turning radius. It's like zero. It's it's turning on a dime. It's really handy into small spaces, which I have. And with 170 horsepower, it's only $34,000. So yeah, it's gonna take a chunk of my money, but you know we got what well, we got six pallets with butter which I can sell. So that's six times almost three thousand. That's like fifteen to seventeen thousand. And yeah, maybe I'm jumping a little bit too fast into this to buy myself a tractor into day number two three there we go open the animal dialogue box uh no oh this needs to unfold first there we go no now i got this problem again Oh, there you see on the top left corner. I got the animal, animal dialog box just touching there, and if I back up, I got the animal dialog box there, which is the wrong one. Uh, go there. We go. No. Why can't I move anything here now? Oh, there we go! <laughs> uh, why am I only getting six? six there we go. Uh, move. There we go. And yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna fill up the uh, new cattle shed. Oh, you know what? We got milk also out there. That's the thing. I can collect some more milk out of these guys before we bring them into uh, winter stay and uh, we can deliver that to the dairy. Yeah. So here we are back at the new cattle shed. So as you can see in the uh, overview on the right side here, uh, the new cattle shed, I've got 110 cows. And on the old cattle shed, I've got 10. 
and the health is 100% all good so a hundred and what did I say 110 in here let's close out the gate here now so they don't run away 110 in here and in this one I got 10 so that's you know that that's the old ladies <laughs> let's, uh, let's put it like that uh, what I've also done uh, I've been out on the pasture to pick up some milk um, but um, yeah, I'm a little bit uncertain what to do uh, I've already delivered one load into my dairy in here so I got 20,000 liter of milk here now and it's producing but the thing is that the price on butter is not that more valuable than just selling the milk which i thought it would be um so after you know let's do some high school mathematics sir. <laughs> so if we go into uh let's say milk uh let's just compare the top prices here top prices on milk is around 2200 that's all good 2200 and then if we go to butter the top price there is 2900 so yes it is more valuable with the butter but here's the thing uh the recipe if I put in 15 liter of milk, I'm only going to get 13 liter back with butter. So, yeah, it, that that uh, calculation there is a little bit, um, what should I say, uh, over my head. <laughs> I might <laughs> manage it, but not right now. So, uh, what I think I'm going to do, uh, since we have a lot of milk in the dairy already... This is spinning away. Uh, this load here, I'm just going to sell at my shop, I think. At the Pemberton shop. I'm thinking, you know, we we can uh, we can fill up the shop here a little bit. There we go. Now, I wonder what this trigger here is for. Because... This, this is not the production, it's just, uh, you know, a fictional shop. Oh, actually people going in. Oh, oh, she saw <laughs> the shelves are empty, so she didn't want to go in. That's why, hey, I'm filling it up now. Yeah, neighbor. Um, so, yeah, I've still got five, six thousand liter left on um, the cow pasture. So I think I'm going to sell the remaining here. And I'm going to put the uh, old man on a test. I'm going to put him on a challenge with his old uh, tractor. I, I've, uh, you know, we need to do some arable uh, field preparation right now. Let's see. Let's see how much is left here. 5,900. All right. That's going into the shop. And... I'm just thinking, you know, it's always, the, the, these are the times on a new Let's Play, you know, you, um, you're you well on the way, uh, but still in the beginning, the money is not that you can go crazy, um, I'm going to get a lot of milk from the cows, I could, you know, I could get money, that's no problem, because I could sell some area of land, uh, what I'm also considering is to sell the um, the bull juice uh, productors, <laughs> not the bull juice productors, but uh, you know the beef cattle, uh, because they have really uh, these guys sir, uh, Now they are worth two thousand five hundred, so times a hundred, so that's two hundred fifty thousand dollars just there. I might I might wait one day. Maybe they uh, will increase even more. So yeah, and uh, and the reason why it says milk underneath there, 
that's because you can actually also uh, put uh, female cows in here so they can produce milk on the other farm also I'm just thinking if we're gonna go really big on like a dairy farmer we might um, you know also fill up with some cows there but you know we, we still have this side shed which I can fill up where am I going So the main reason why I'm using this guy here is because it's really flexible when it comes to uh, turning in these really tight gates here. Uh, but that's where I think also the white boss would be pretty handy. You know, I could just turn around on the dime like so. There we go, ready for exit. So, fieldwork. Here we go, Mr. Mike the man from Glasgow <laughs> to the rescue. Hey, buddy. Uh, so, yeah, field work. We need to do some plowing. And I've leased myself uh, two plows. This one is a well known plow. This is the Lizard MT something. Uh, but this one here, I've never used before. Let's see what it's called. The Lizard Famed 9 Chisel. Uh, it's actually a 3.3 meter, so it's not that shabby. And it requires 105 horsepower. Now, Mr. Old Ginger Warriors tractor here is exactly 105 horsepower. <laughs> so, uh, let's open up the gate there, uh, let's unfold Mike's trailer, let's see here now, let's unfold that one, straps off, and let's jump in the hurly man, oh man, this is, uh, I took a chance with the big uh, plow, plow on the front also. I got the big one. Uh, the 9 meter one. I'm not sure if this is going to pull it. But oh, no, no, no. Why am I? Oh, I'm, pl <laughs> I'm plow. Oh, man. Look at those big stones. Hoochie mama. All right. All right. We need to get rid of some stones also. Uh, let's see, let's lower that one and disconnect it. Whoa! Oh man, that's heavy. Oh, that's gonna be heavy for old granddaddy. <laughs> oh man, I might have done a big mistake here already. Uh, let's see, let's take uh, this one on the back here. Don't tell me this is also too heavy for this guy. Do I need another weight? Most probably. Oh no, there we go. This is even lighter. Alright, okay. Now the big question. So this one here, uh, if you wonder, I found it in the mod folder. I haven't used it before. It's a pack of these three guys. So we got a 3.3 meter, 5.7 and 5.1. So this is the biggest one, requires 170 horsepower, so it's not, uh, you know, and the price isn't that bad. So let's see here, uh, Ginger. <laughs> He's already struggling. <laughs> now, what, what's the weight on the front there? That's a thousand kilograms. He's going to tip over, isn't he? <laughs> Come on, buddy. Oh, oh. Oh, he's stable. He's stable, all right. All right, let's... Uh, maybe you can do the uh, headlands and Mr. Luke, the herdsman, can pull off with the uh, hurlyman. All right, let's see if we can pull this one, buddy. Uh, I don't want to have create fields on. No, I just want to lower it. There we go. And full speed ahead. Oh, he's spinning. 
Oh man, he's doing it. Oh, some beautiful animation on that. Oh man, oh gee mama. You really put out some big stones there, Mr. FS Landscaping. Wow. We need to pick up these. All right, all right. Uh, do we have any... Uh, no, there's no lime point or anything. Wow, it's been a while since I've done stones, actually. All right. Oh, I love this. I know it's a small thing, but the spinning part in the beginning here. <laughs> All right, 3.3 meter plow. Okay, I am a little bit way off here. Now he's pulling it. Let's check the other guy now. I just I uh, just want to see if we can pull it. Let's uh, well there. There you go. The big guy. Let's go the other way with you. Yeah, yeah easy, 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 fellow. Slow down. Uh, don't create fields. All right. Oh yeah, this is more like it. All right. So I think this one I'm gonna I'm gonna send off with a worker, and I'm gonna I'm gonna jump in <laughs> the old one myself. But yeah, this is gonna take a hot second. Um, but the cows are all right. Uh, the chickens are all right. And yeah, the next. Wow, I missed a big area here with barley. What? <laughs> oh man. Oh, I'm glad Mr. Ginger is not watching. So yeah, I, I I need the money now because now I need to lease myself a whole lot of equipment. I need to uh, I need to lease myself a stone picker. I need to lease myself a uh, cedar. Uh, maybe a roller. I, I'll have to see on that one. I, I'm just gonna use this for chicken food and straw for bedding. Anyway, I'm not I'm not really a, a arable. Uh, farmer so to speak and then for fertilizing hopefully we can have uh, enough slurry in our tank so we can use slurry for fertilizer that's the plan all right you know what I'm gonna head you off there in 090 there we go and I'm gonna jump in this guy oh man I'll just love the sound on this one uh, is he lowered? <laughs> yep. All right, Ginger, spin away. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching and thanks for all the comments. Uh, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, uh, and you know people are also complaining that I'm not doing it a hundred percent realistic. You know what? I've never s said that I'm going to do it 100% realistic. I said that I'm going to do it uh, as a trainee at the Pembertons. I only have, what, like three rooms? No auto load. Um, uh, I need to use uh, slurry or manure as fertilizer. And I need to move the animals uh, manually. Other than that, I, I can do as I want. As long as Ginger approves, of course. 
<laughs> there we go, the hurler man is really uh, covering some areas there. Wow, these are big stones. Let's look at the map. Uh, let's see, let's see. Stones. Stones. Yeah, there we go. Only red stones. All the other guys have small yellow stones. Yellow stones? <laughs> But I got red stones all over the place. Oh man. All right. All right. But anyway, thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. I'm really enjoying this map and hopefully when the update comes, you know, I don't need to have uh, a new save game. That's going to that's going to put me back a lot. You know, I've done a lot of work outside camera. Um, you know, it, these things like here is taking a whole lot of uh, time. And I don't have that much time like the big YouTubers. You know, they have this as the, you know, day job. So they can sit and play for 8, 10 hours every day. Uh, I'm not in a position like that. I use my afternoons, uh, weekdays. Sometimes in the weekends I'm playing, but yeah, I'm uh, this episode here I'm recording over what two, three afternoons. So with these kind of oh, equipment, uh, it's it's taking a hot minute, that's for sure. Oh, didn't like the turn. But anyway, thanks for watching and bye bye.